Hey guys, this is Noel Padgao Career from Techie Paddy. So in today's video, I am going to show you guys how to run an Android operating system on any PC or any laptop. Yes guys, you heard me right. Back to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So sit back and enjoy this video. Let's go! So first of all, we will need to download the ISO file for the Android Marshmallow 6.0. So I have opened the link here in the Google Chrome and you will find this link in the show notes below. And so that you can see over here when you click on this, you will be able to download your ISO file. I have already downloaded it. So let's get started. Now, as you have seen in my previous video, how to make a bootable pen drive or something. I had shown using a Windows operating system. Now you can use the same technique to make your bootable pen drive for the Android operating system. So let's get started. Let's open Rufus. Say yes. Now it will see that your device have already connected my 32 GB pen drive over here. And now I'm going to find my ISO file. So I have put it on the desktop. And it's over here and let's start okay and it's done so now we will now reboot our laptop and then we can see the result so now we have rebooted our computer and now we are going to the boot menu if you do not know where is your boot menu of your particular laptop model is, make sure you google it and you will get your answer for that. So let's begin. Let me just go, scroll down to the boot option. And now it will ask me, there are four options I have to select out of that. I have to select this USB sand disk and say enter. Now it will ask me whether you want to run Android without installation or you want to install and that VSAN debug mode, forget about that. So let's start with the installation, uh, run Android without installation. So here comes the first screen that is the welcome screen. It is just like the basic installation of your Android device or something. Let me just do the following settings ahead. You select SIM in forget in about inserting your SIM card. Then you select your Wi-Fi network and insert the password and say connect. If you can see this cursor is just like a touch screen that uh, it shows where you are clicking and where you are moving around the touch that is the cursor now i will say if you use another android device you can quickly copy i will say no thanks and say next and i will skip this and say skip next you enter your details not now next next got it next and there you go you see your android screen so it is basically the basic layout is the same like what you get on your tablets and all that stuff but there are some things which they are missing from this device which I'll let you know guys later. It has all the basic stuff like this, everything like the calculator, browser, etc. Let's load something. Let me go to the browser, google.com and all that. Also, if you wish to type using your keyboard, also you can use, else you have this on-screen keyboard, like you want to show the input method, yes, less like that. You can show 
and if you do not want, you can just click this black and it will stop it. It is just like the three buttons what we have in your device is like you click the center button to go back to the home, you keep on pressing this, it will go back to your multitasking that is your task manager type stuff. And if you go back to your home, just like this. Also, if you guys see, you have the notification bar also just like this. You can just drag around like this also. You can see Bluetooth, no SIM card, airplane mode, location, etc. and all that stuff. Auto rotor is not going to be useful for us. It has a normal Google Play Store, your normal gallery, your camera, etc. So basically, this is nothing but your Android device working on your laptop. So this is how we install or maybe run Android OS on your laptop or your PC. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to TechiePad here or this is your first time, my name is Noel Pat Gaukar and this is my channel TechiePad. Do subscribe. In case you have any feedback, please do leave it in the comment section below. Please share this video if you like. And I'll see you guys in my next video.